If you own one of these for the Amiga 500, 2000, 1000, 600, and coming soon the 12, you'd be interested in knowing that you can run a Ethernet card directly off of this module using one of these. This, oops. And it is the model ENC28J60. And you can get this on eBay for like $3 or at your local hobbyist computer store, like a Micro Center, a Fry's, or someplace that would be like one of those kind of super stores. So, Amazon, eBay, ENC. 28J60. Let's get into it and I'll show you how to hook it up and we'll do some testing. And for this I'll be using OS 3.1.4.1. I will also be using a coupler because the cable that I have for this, which I'll go over in a moment, is a little short. So the things you're going to need are one of these. My box got a little scratched up. One of these and you will need a special cable like the one that comes on the Altera USB blaster. It's just a 10 pinner. If you don't have one, you can uh, chop up an IDE cable. So let's get into it. It doesn't really list pins, but uh, it does say J1, and that is not jumper one, which is weird. And if you screw this up, you can reverse this, it's fine. On this side, now this is gonna plug, the Vampire has two uh, ports in it, or two expansion ports. This is the JTAG, it says it on a JTAG, and this says Ethernet module. So we want to plug it into Ethernet module. Now this is why I said you need a long cable, because when I plug this in, now this is keyed so you can't screw it up. I do have the other riser in there, so it's the socket with the round hole sockets, and the vampire goes into that, because I'm always popping it out, pushing on it. So this is what I was talking about. You can see I don't make it quite to the back. If I do, the power supply is in the way and you can't get there. My ideal goal was that slot next to the CPU slot. And I even printed, 3D printed that bracket, which I don't know if I showed you that or not. And I'm just going to trim this out, maybe stick it in here so I have like the Ethernet light and that'll go into this. But the problem is I just can't. I can't make it. It doesn't, it just does not fit. So I'm going to stick mine in a bag just for grounding protection and just popping it in there. And I'm just going to rip a little bit of the bag off the back. Now this is ghetto as hell, but all I'm doing is using it temporarily until I get a longer JTAG cable or make my own. So right now, I can just coil this up. I will go underneath my thing. Um, I do have a coupler here, which is a Cat6. This does fit in here ever so gently. I can just wedge it in here like this for now, and I can just plug the ethernet into the back of it as needed. And there we go. So that's it for hardware installation. Now. Let me put the power supply back in and make sure all of these goodies are out of the way and I'm not banging into any capacitors or anything weird. And we'll just double check your work. Make sure no metal's touching anything. That's why I have anti-static bags on the compact flash card. I will try and keep this as straight as possible or I'll turn it on. So there's power on the board and there's the link light. And then you'll see activity blinking on the other side. So I know I put it in correctly. If you don't, if you if you don't have a keyed uh, JTAG style cable, you can just flip it. I plugged mine in incorrectly the first time. So with that installed, I'm actually going to screw this back in, put the lid on, hook up the capture card so we can do this in a higher definition with no flicker and you don't have to watch my ugly workspace any longer. All right, so here we are on my Amiga screen. I apologize for the banding, and there is a slight delay with my mouse while I'm on this VGA capture card to HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Miami and get an error. Okay. 
I'm getting an error because the uh, device is still the plipbox dot device from oops from the last time here. We're gonna go into directory works here because it's a little bit faster. And if we go into devs here and network interfaces, no networks. Uh, these are all the network drivers I have, and there's my plipbox dot device. But the vampire one is called v2 e x p e t h dot device. And you can also copy this like I did right to devs. It's right here. And I get a lot of beef for using Miami, but it works on a 68,000. You don't have to have an 020 or better, like a Roadshow. Uh, and it works okay. And a TCP is another great one. Uh, you will have to edit your database file and put this driver in. So let's type it in. It's V2EXPETH dot D device enter unit zero and I'm gonna save it and you can also click up the top here and go save as default and then I'm gonna click online there we go Miami is now online control alt M for minimize actually we're gonna run uh, go to my internet stuff here and we're gonna run a web since I know it's configured. And we're just going to go to Aminet. Net. I mean, not too bad. It's not the greatest. Uh, speed you're going to get but you know it is ethernet and it works natively with the vampire and you don't have to use a plip box and a parallel port to serial adreno emulator you can just use the network card that i'm going to list in the description below and here's the ama speed test and i'm just going to re-download it even though i already downloaded it it should save to ram which is my default directory it sure is and it's 0.6k and it's done and on LHA run this speed test again maybe we'll get a little further error receiving response your average upload speed is 874k now let's see if it still crashes when I quit no it didn't awesome what's on the page first just to see what's going on but you know look you can browse the internet it is not by any means great and the resolution I'm in doesn't do it any justice either um, like I said I'm running Miami you can run whatever you want there's critics of everything in the amiga world i get flamed for posting these videos from lots of people here and there and you know i just do this for fun and to help people learn and keep it alive um, if you don't like my videos please you don't have to watch them or don't have to make rude comments on them uh, i just filter them out or delete them anyway but anyway that is how you make a vampire get ethernet access with miami now if you're using ama tcp it's going to be the same thing in your config file or your db file you'll just have to put that device the v2expeth dot device um, it comes with the vampire toolkit which is available in the links below in the description from apollo's website and that is about all folks and i hope you enjoyed uh this little quick video, I hope it's quick.